How's it going? Harvesting some cauliflower seeds today. Uh, we're going to save some for ourselves and pass some on to other people so I thought I'd just show you how easy it is to do. What we had was this bed here. I'm actually just about to feed this up and I've pulled all the plants out that were in here and I've fed them to the chickens. We had five plants in here flowering at once and this was the largest and healthiest looking plant so we thought we'd save the seeds from this one here. It's actually still flowing, uh, throwing off flowers but what we have down here is a whole heap of dried pods. Some, like this small one here, is already cracked in the heat and already sent its seeds all over the pavers and maybe the grass down there. So this stuff here is really, really easy to harvest. I could wait until these all dry up, but I'm not going to bother. I'm actually going to pull this plant today so I can continue feeding up this bed and getting it ready for some sweet peppers or capsicums to come in. All I'm doing is trying to collect the heads that look the driest because they'll have the most mature seeds in them. Some of the pods are actually popping open as I'm snipping them off. So I think I have more than enough pods here so I'm just going to move up underneath the shelter and we'll start to take some of these seeds out and see how many we end up with. So all I'm doing is just going through the individual pods it's a little bit time consuming but it's going to make it easy to clean up at the end. Just giving them a bit of a twist and the seeds pop out easy enough. So I think we're going to end up with probably thousands of seeds looking at this. I've left a fair few on the plant so we can go down and get more if we get greedy. So it really is that simple to collect br uh, brassica seeds. Kira just pointed out something that may interest you. In the seed pot itself, I'll see if I can do it without it exploding, you get two sides. This side here has some seeds in it. One's already fallen out, so we've got three, three <laughs> seeds from this side here. And then there's this little papery film in the centre that divides the seeds. So I'll just pull them out, see what we end up with. Here we go. Do it carefully. And we've ended up with four seeds on this side here, so that's all that's been pollinated by the bees. So we're just going to keep collecting all these guys, and then we'll get the chaff out, and we'll show you how many seeds we ended up collecting. So we've removed the seeds, or most of the seeds from the chaff there, and now what we've got is the seeds. There's a few on the floor, couldn't get them all. Uh, so what I need to do now is try and remove these larger bits, from the seeds so I thought what I'd do is I'd just grab my little orchid pot here something we've used as a pump guard in the aquaponics before just pull these through and there's some dusty bits we can get rid of straight away just give it a bit of a screen bit of a shake through here so just pretty much we're left with some chaff down there in the bottom so that can go straight away still got some larger ones in there I might do it one more time there we go, and we can get rid of those bits there. Just makes it a little bit easier to do the final clean. Now for this stuff here, we're pretty lucky because today it's fairly breezy. So all I can do is just pour this from one container to another. Don't know if this is gonna come out. What's happening is the breeze is picking up some of those small bits. You can probably see in the top right hand side of the screen there and just blowing them off. So I'm also left with a bit of dust in there. So there we go, now we're left with fairly clean seed. So it's a pretty easy process, it's actually rather fun to do. So, And here we go, these are the seeds that we ended up collecting from all those pods. So just a quick note, with the brassicas it's good to only let one variety go to seed at once or one go to flower at once. You don't really want broccoli and cauliflower to go off at the same time because you'll end up with a bit of a mixed variety. That's why we only let the cauliflower flower at this point in time and I have some mustards flowering at the moment that we'll be saving seeds from and then once the mustards have got some pods set we're going to be saving some seeds from the broccoli out the front so just thought I'd give you a bit of a look at that it's really easy to save these guys seeds so there you go if you have any comments questions suggestions just drop them in the comments section below and we'll get back to you other than that have a great one take it easy catch ya